I'm Sir Tapdap, and welcome to Let's Play Metrico Plus by Digital Dreams. Very kind of games provided by the developer. This is a PS4 and PC, um, like, enhanced port, I suppose you would say, of uh, Metrico. It's originally on the PS Vita. Um, sure. Uh, the original Metro, Metrico, um, really cool idea, some good visuals, but um, a lot of complaints about certain puzzles. Um, they did the thing where they tried to use all of the different hardware on the Vita, and there's there's some puzzles that you kind of figure out like I don't know, I don't really inherently dislike touch-based puzzles or anything, but there were some really weird issues in the original where like basically you had more time trying to f figure out you know the puzzle was basically at the input level you didn't even know what to do at the most basic level of inputting to the system. I think that makes that makes for poor puzzles. Um, but I've heard this one's pretty much, you know, this isn't a straight port or anything, so we'll see how things have changed here. So, the thing about Metrico, if you're not familiar, uh, it's basically a world of infographics and stuff, and some nice, uh, modern, you know, looking design. And, uh, Perky, please! Sorry, my cat is trying to eat me. So there's lots of neat little um, things where performing certain actions would affect your the uh, little charts. Wow. It's like here, whenever we jump, that goes up. Whenever we go right, it goes down. I'm not sure what that chart is about, but yeah, basically a big part of the game. Looks a teeny bit blurry. Is there? Well, I'll finish this first level, and then we'll see if there's options. I'm not sure if this is... It says it's 1080p, but maybe this is just cutscene stuff, or maybe it's just wonky depth of field. I've never been a huge fan of uh, depth of field stuff. So a lot of Metrico focuses around, you know, finding out exactly how to uh, raise and lower. Oh, here we go. I think you gotta jump. Yeah. Finding out how to raise and lower platforms, and uh, one of the bigger flaws of the original game. There were some puzzles that required using the uh, camera, and um, all right, huh? Uh, there we go. Wait, what now? Oh, I get it. I get it. I can stand on this and get my butt on the thing. So far, these puzzles are largely what they were in the original, but uh, yeah, this is sort of just teaching you how things work out. I really do love the uh, visual aspect of things. All right, let's get on here. And since, huh? No, more to the right. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so a big part of Metrico is just kind of figuring out what things do. Uh, and each level, or new world, or whatever you would want to call it, tends to introduce a new mechanic. What are you doing, my friend? I guess this is introducing us to the map. This is Mountain Zone. I'm not sure what charts use mountains. Oh, dead. Oh, we're actually supposed to die. <laughs> That's cute. I'll get to... something happens at the very end of the level, which is kind of neat. Um, I think we actually have to restart here. How do I... Very simple menu, so... Uh-oh. I see, I see. There we go. There's a lot of times you'll be limited as to how many times you can perform a certain action. Oh, hey! How do I... Oh right, there's certain times where you need to get different charts in exact positions, and then you'll see that little underline there. Uh, how do I make that fall? Yeah, basically you need to make all the three things hit the... hit a specific position. Uh -huh. 
crap. Alright, I think I need to jump just a teeny bit. I give up. It's but yeah, there, there's some secrets you can get by uh, you know f fiddling with things until they hit the exact right. Ah, oh, dang it, thingy dingy. You know what I mean. Um. Ah. Oh, okay. We need to get right on that thing immediately. And so for sort of it's you know extra puzzles for completion. It's, it's sort of like how N plus plus does things where like they use the same puzzles, but you have to solve in a very specific way in order to uh, to get your your extras. I really like that as a puzzle mechanic. It, like, it lets you mix your harder difficulty into your easier difficulty, like, pretty seamlessly. So we're taking a little breather here. We walked for, for six minutes. That's very exhausting, you see. We're gonna, we're gonna walk around as some horrible red spikes rise up from the floor. It's new. This little map thing at the bottom is new. I guess it's sort of Trying to give you more of a sense of progress. Oh, there we go. I really do like the chart aesthetic of things. I'm really curious. Unfortunately, most of the weird stuff that I assume is replaced is mostly late game. Um, hmm. It's a duck! Duck! We've been transported into the duck zone. Uh, boop. Nope. Okay. Let's go into the door. This is new. Yeah, that's how doors work. It's a mirror door. Oh! There's my soul. That's what happens when you look in mirrors. Your soul escapes. Rest in peace, soul. I'm sorry. Couldn't be helped. Hello, Mr. Sphere. How are you doing today? Mr. Sphere. I just came in through a duck vortex, Mr. Sphere. Don't don't get flippant with me. This I'm pretty sure this is what big data is. When when companies talk about big data, this is in fact Oh! Oh, the data's getting bigger. All right, we just activated the big data. There's, there's all kind of brand engagements going on. Up, oh, and we're dead. The big data has killed us. And that was Metrico Plus. Oh no, that's just World One. So World One kills you apparently. So in the original, you just kind of had two doors that you could pick, and it told you who, like, how many people went through each door. So you could try to be contrarian. It actually told you after you uh, traveled. I guess it sort of nixed that idea for something a bit more dramatic here. I'm not sure if there's like now a story or something. Originally there wasn't really any kind of story. It was just kind of wandering around in infographics. And that's fine too sometimes. All right, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if there's options. This is the first time I've run this. Um... Other options? Yes. Okay. It's a very. Oh, it is. Ugh, you liar. I wanted. I wanted 1080p, bro. Give me that. Give me them 1080s. All right. I knew. I knew it. I knew it was freaking off. Depth of field. All right. Hi. Is anything okay? All right. Um. I wonder if there's like an app version in store because this is very appy. Oh, and you can pick your exact starting location, but I started at the very beginning of the world anyway, so whatever. See, so much for 1080p being or 720p being exactly the same. You know, the human eye can only see four frames per second. You see, and and you know. 480p is a lot more cinematic, you see, and you know when you can't when you can't see individual pixels, it, it, it's you know it's less realistic because because the movies, the movies do it that way. <laughs> anyway, B, hello. Oh, 
B is the respawn button. I, I, I'm pretty sure I pressed that before, but we didn't have a respawn point yet. This looks quite different, actually. There were puzzles like this in the original, but uh, visually, I think things have changed here. Oh. Strange. So, can I not? Hmm. I'm trying to lower that middle one. I don't think it's working. Is that just constantly? Oh, it just moves whenever I want to run around. Alright, I'm not going to worry about getting the pie charts. Interesting. Okay, too far. There's usually lots of fun stuff happening in the background in this game. Oop, 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 dead. Alright, I get it now. That's... Way to, that's one way to work things, I guess. Wait. Hmm. Oh, those are max. Both max, okay. Okay, so never rise, never raise the left one. Or the right one. Okay, got it. That's more like it. Uh oh. Okay, never mind. Crisis averted. Those look like giant sushi rolls. Alright, let's keep going. Look where we're in the, like, the giant bones of like some sort of horrible creature. Some sort of horrible creature named Big Data. Maybe we're just in a giant Data from Star Trek. <laughs> I like these little connections, that's cute. I think these are new too. I think this is largely new territory. I was a little concerned after that first level. I think that first level is largely identical, but uh, now we've been seeing some cool new stuff. What is this? How do I shot web? I don't- oh! Oh. You just gotta jump while moving right, otherwise it does the thing that you don't want to do. Alright. Um... Do I just wanna... Jump! Okay, no. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. We have to rise this without jumping. Huh? Uh-oh. Oop. Okay, we have to move just slightly. Wait. Oh, I didn't fall on it. That's the trick. You gotta fall on it. You can't just walk onto it. Okay. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, one one jump is probably fine, right? Right? It, it better be. Um. Okay, okay, we 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 did it. We have succeeded. Oh man, we're we're pretty close, but we we walk too much and move that thing up. That's fine. We don't we don't we don't need the pie charts. What was that? Is that just my thing? I don't know. I'm suspicious of things and like I'm looking for new features and stuff. Okay. I like this little map thing. It, it's kind of neat. Like it, 
It makes the world feel a bit more cohesive somehow. Oh wait! Right, you can um... You hold B near a new checkpoint to activate the new one. That's how you work with puzzles like that. Uh, this is the PC version, if that wasn't obvious. Um, the game should be largely the same for PS4, I believe. It's all controller focused now. Instead of, uh... Like I said, a lot of people complained about the touchy stuff in the Vita version. Um... It also had, it launched as a PlayStation Plus title, and you always, you're gonna get a lot of complaints, no matter what you do, basically. What do I... Um, because people who get games for free are pretty much the harshest critics, like, nothing is ever gonna be worth free. Free, free is just monstrously expensive. And, oh. Alright, there we go. You, you gotta have Knack, obviously. Knack is the one game that would be an acceptable title. For, huh? For PlayStation Plus. If, if Sony would just give us our precious Knack, then everything would be okay. But you know, all of these indie games, they're just so bad. But, but Knack, it's, got, it's all about that Knack, honey. Like, people are seriously just, they really want Knack. And I, I, don't, I don't think it's even a meme. Like, they just seem to genuinely believe that Knack is their lord and savior. Knack will save us from all of the, the indies. It will be our truly glorious AAA savior. Um, hmm. Okay, I do kind of remember this one. something? No? Is that thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly sure that I got stuck on this puzzle. Wait! Oh, I'm stupid. Never mind. Okay. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta think about things. That's how puzzles work. You gotta use your brain sometimes. My brain isn't used to that. A big part of why I like the original Metrico was just mostly just the looks, honestly. It, it has some really cool. Mortality rate zero! Hooray! Oh, we got two doors now. Which one will steal my soul? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the left door betrayed me last time, so I'm gonna try the right door. Are you gonna steal my soul, Mr. Right Door? Don't don't steal my soul, Mr. Door. I I need that. I need you know. I can't get into Tap Tap Heaven without my soul. No, soul, 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 please, soul, please. Aw, Mr. Soul. Ah, oh, damn it. My soul is still lower res. My right arm. Oh, I've got, you know, I've got the devil trigger in my arm or something. Oh, hello, big data. Do I, must I sacrifice my body to you once again? Up oh, into the data warehouse we go. By which I mean hell. This is where data comes from, kids. It's not pretty, but it's necessary. If you want, if you want to eat, you know, brandvertise your engagement with millennials, you gotta have some big data, and big data means. Oh, my arm is a skeleton now. So it seems kind of like there's some sort of story-ish thing kind of going on now. I'm done with that. Yeah, this is how the big data is made by murdering people. I like this, this map is better. The, the original had a map, it was, I don't think it had the, I'm pointing at the screen as if you could actually see it. Um, it didn't have the little icons. It had the like Metro looking map, you know, um, maybe that's why it's called Metro, but it has that map, but not the like place icons. This guy's very unconcerned that his arm is now like robot skeleton. He's like, yeah, I knew I was a robot. That's, that's not a surprise to me. Alright. 
so this is one of the features people hated. Um, you had, I think there was a button you could actually press for this, but you could tap to uh, send the thingies. I'm pretty sure this actually had a button you could tap instead. But this lets us shoot stuff because I mean, it's not a real video game until you can shoot things, right? It simply is not. What? Okay, I think we got a. Oops. We gotta get here real quick. I think you could aim. Maybe that'll be in a later episode or something. Wait, wait. Okay. There we go! We finally got a pie chart. Observing details. I think I actually have to go. Frick! Eh? Oh. Oh! I actually have to kill them to lower the first one. But I need it to be... Alright. Then I can fire? Okay, I get it. I'm pretty sure this area got a visual upgrade, too. It, it didn't... At least, I don't remember this black and white stuff. It's been a while since I played the original, so... I'm not 100% sure on anything I'm saying, but... Uh, it definitely feels a bit new. Which is good. Wait. Is, is, that, is this one of those things that decreases as I shoot? And then grows back? Woo! Wait, I think I need to kill all of them to, uh... Up splat. Aw, oh, dang it. Okay. I think this is one of those things where I need to kill all of them. To, uh... To advance. Okay. We have some timing in this one. Okay, that one's only tied to the left one. No. What? Okay, it's a little bit picky, isn't it? I don't know if this can be one anymore. Wait, can I do this with just five or four? Okay, this is a picky one, isn't it? Alright. Is that... Can I, can I still climb on this? Okay. Barely. This is an oddly frustrating puzzle to put on this early, isn't it? Screwed me over already? Oh my gosh. This is really specific for a World 3 puzzle. Um, I really do not get why this is quite like that. That seems... That seems kind of redonkulous, I must say. It wasn't too bad as long as you do it like that. But yeah, that was that was definitely our first sticking point. I've I've seen worse, but oh, charts and things, I guess. Right stick. All right, now we can aim. 
boop, boop, boop. A big problem with the way Metrico won, like the, the Vita version, used the Vita stuff, is it wasn't like the WarioWare sort of thing, where it's like, you really couldn't do that without without those features. Um, it's like... Hmm. Hmm. It, it, it was just using, you know... Yeah, they just felt like another button press, but more frustrating to use, which is absolutely not how you want your touch and, like, your gimmicky controls to feel. Like, well, that's what makes it feel gimmicky, is that, you know, it's not really doing anything that a button couldn't do. And buttons are great! It really should not uh, underestimate... Why is this not working? Okay, that was weird. You should really not underestimate how good a button feels. They're just the ideal way to do a lot of stuff in games, and uh, they feel good, and they're so precise. The, the things that touch, and especially camera controls are crap, like, um, nothing's ever gonna beat a button, just, like, even to an extent, like, full motion, like, VR capture stuff, um, there's a lot of stuff you really can't do that just, just like, on, off. The, you know, buttons are just very precise and feel very good. And even VR stuff, I think you really are going to need buttons for certain things. You know, we use buttons in real life, you know? You, know, you operate a gun, that's a button. Ugh. And it's a button for a damn good reason. Is that just... sure what we're doing here. Wait, does that just move every time I jump? Oh, it's moving constantly while I'm... Okay. I think I have to shoot these without jumping. I think that is my curse. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's try that one more time. I think I have to be accurate or else that thing... I will admit the aiming is a little weird. It... Here we go. Wait, is this too high? Wait, what? Okay. Okay, so we have to use this and leave this one alive. It, it kind of snaps at a certain point back to uh, back to the straight over, straight horizontal, which. Isn't what I mean it to do, but alright. Now, I can shoot. Also, you don't have to activate the new checkpoint on each, like, screen. What is this? Oh, it's a spawn point. Okay. Spawn the things! Spawn the things! Dang it! I moved too much, I guess. Okay. Make the things. Make the things, my friend. Okay, so I have to just find the exact point at which they spawn. And then murderize them. Come now. Come now. Is it really at 100%? Come now! Spawn the things! Okay, you seriously do have to be all the way over. What? Oh, it's when you jump! Oh! Okay. Well, that's... Okay. Uh, I was complimenting buttons, but the... The way shots work is kind of weird. It, it doesn't seem to... Well, now it's firing, but... Uh... 
know, the aiming doesn't seem quite right here. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Going up. Oh, we're supposed to be on that one. Okay. And sometimes you'll need a checkpoint uh, just to move around the puzzle, which is kind of neat. I like when games use death cleverly and, like, you know, death doesn't even feel like, you know, a failing. It's just, you know, you're working things out. That's fine. Block that. Nope. Okay, but what does that... Where does that get us? Oh, wait. Can I block that one? And then... Do this? And then... that and then that okay okay I get it I'm pretty sure these levels are fairly significantly rearranged some of this some vague similarities but uh, and some less vague ones but so far this feels decently different different this feels like a good upgrade I've got a headache because of my robot arm it's fine I'm sure I'm not gonna lose all of my limbs and it turns out I was a robot all along or something it's definitely not what's gonna happen Does that rise because it activate? Yes, it does. Hmm. Hey. So I think I need to get on that thing immediately. But, but, hmm. Hmm. to raise it, I have to not be on the platform that gets raised. I don't know what good that does me. Do I gotta raise it twice? Hold up. Ah. It's really annoying to spawn on this one, actually. There we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. That's what I was thinking. Right. We didn't get the pie chart, but that's fine. Oh, and there's a bigger indicator of the pie chart. I guess maybe that was a complaint. I don't know. It's kind of interesting how sometimes the difference between uh -huh, a thing moving when you land versus when you jump um, makes a big difference in how the puzzle plays out. Right, right, right. There we go. I think that's raised too high now, though. What was that one based on? Like, number of jumps, probably? Yeah, okay, so we have to, we have to limit our jumps.
very carefully. Dang it. Okay. Okay, there we go. Alright. I think we have to do that. Kill the last one, please. And then one last jump, or er, three last jumps, but there's still room, I think. Yeah, there we go. I think we'll see what we get at the end here. Then we'll call that a video. That's been about a half hour. You, you get you get the point of Metrico. I'm kind of curious as to where this whole big data situation is leading. Does the big data need my legs next? Hello, Mr. Duck. Duck Corp, we need your body parts. Alright, you know what, Mr. Left... I'm, I'm going back to Mr. Left Door. You, you, you betrayed me, Mr. Right Door. I know that Mr. Left Door already did the same too, but principle of the matter? Oh crap! This is just like the like 2016 presidential election. Both both choices are garbage, and I just got to you know pick the slightly less garbage one. Up oh, and it's t and it's my legs. Good. I figured maybe it was which part of your body you lost, like left or right. But no, we're losing both of our left ones first. Take me big data monster. Take my body parts. I'm just gonna stick my leg in your mouth and you just up. Oh. Ah. Oh. So you have to press the button that you learned how to use in this past level. So that's a neat touch. And leg gone. Ow. It's gonna be like the ending of Earthbound, where like robots sent into the past for some reason. We're gonna kill a giant fetus. That's how things are gonna play out. I know it. All right, we'll take a quick peek at this next environment. I'm wondering if this. I know the later levels are a bit longer, but I'm wondering if I could finish this up with just a couple more videos or something. But I got a bunch of stuff to get to, honestly. So um, I'll call this. You know, I'll call cut after we uh, take a quick peek. I guess we'll see our new mechanic at least, but uh, I won't finish the level for now. I might come back to it, but I just got a lot of stuff to get to for now. Really need to get back to Diarbus Spaceport, Spaceport Janitor. That was really cool, but confusing, but cool. You also can't aim backwards. Um, oh, right, you gotta press, you gotta find your new button. Huh? We're doomed. Oh. Oh, it's the real reset. Okay. So there's a mechanic where you wipe even the fact that you've like set a reset point or anything. Which is currently which is now the Y button. And since it's destructive, you uh, have to hold it, and so you can sort of mash it there. So we got some nice like desert feels here. Does something happen? No, I think the wipe, like, completely wipes. I don't think it is used mid-puzzle. I like those spikes we got going on. Ah, there we go. Ah, here we go. Okay. I like the, the spikes growing in the background there. Oh, I'm Sonic. Gotta go fast. Gotta slide slow. Okay. Why? No? Is this based on how high you jump? No? Not quite. Maybe we can just go over the top? I don't know. Wait. Aw oh, dang it, I meant to activate that thing. I think that's what we're supposed to do. 
I'll solve this one puzzle, and then we'll call it quits. The background still feels a teeny bit blurry. I think it's the depth of field. I don't think I can disable that from here, though. What is that? Oh, that's just my cursor. Alright, so now I think the gimmick is just... Yeah, I can do that. Oh, what is that cool thing in the background, though? My lifeblood is draining! The shares! All of my shares! The money units. It's all gone. They've realized I'm a fraud. All of the numbers are going down. Even the bad ones. Oh, it's opening! Okay, hold on. I have to see what this thing turns into. I like how I'm so awful that the numbers drain just as soon as I get even near them. Alright, is the box... Is, is it gonna open? I wanna see the box. What's in the box? I think the box is done opening, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it's about to zoom out. Well, this is Metrico. And yeah, I'm liking the new... It's focused more on just, you know, being a puzzle game than uh, the kind of silly stuff. So that's... that's good. Alright, the, er, this is Metrico Plus, rather, not just plain old Metrico. Um, and yeah, that's on PlayStation 4 and PC now, version 1.001 .001 by Digital Dreams.